Oh, this is where you're taking us next. I think we, we both uh, have interest on this game. I'll go ahead and yeah. let you start. You let me start? Okay. If I got one that – I know we got like three and five or four and something like that. But, yeah, I'll handle this one. I'll start off with this one. So now we get to um, – we get to go hang out with one of your ex guys in the Mountain West. That's kind of slid down south here, Brian Harson's team, right? The the Auburn Tigers, the War Eagle, and then Penn State, which is uh, coached by Mister Franklin, the guy that we love to back when he's at home and hate him on the road. But now he's in a road spot. So does that mean that we automatically fade Penn State and jump on Auburn, or do we look at what Auburn did in their first couple games? with a cupcake and played San, a, a, kind of a weird game with San Jose State last week. Um, Penn State, you know, I kind of give them the nod on the quality of the starts versus the opponents that they have played. But, um, you know, they they're, they have – they're to me, it's a typical pack, a, a Big Ten start for, for uh, Penn State. You know, they always schedule the easy game first. Then they'll slide into, like, you know – a lower tier, you know, Big Ten opponent, which they, you know, they, they survived a, a thriller with Purdue, and then, um, you know, they 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 beat up on a an Ohio, uh, Ohio team that um, that beat an FAU team up pretty good. So um, they they have um, they have they have issues, but they're not as as serious, I think, as the Auburn issues. I I think the quarterback play is is. I'm not going to say it's a huge advantage for, for Penn State here, but I would take um, their quarterback over Finley any day of the week. You know, Finley to me is just—I don't think he's the answer for Auburn. You know, I think you know they played Mercer and San Jose State opened it up. You know, no no big deal there. You know, and I, I think um, and their their run defense is pretty decent. I think last year they they yielded like 90 yards and uh, 2.7 yards per carry in a 28-20 loss. So this is going to be a revenge on their mind for Auburn, you know, over the last year's game. I think we're just going to see, you know, Ashford to try to, you know, pick up the pace in the backfield for them. And and and, and the turnover keys is going to be the big thing here. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of turnovers here. I think we're going to see more of a defensive battle in this spot. Um, I, just, I just think, you know, Franklin – if he coaches Clifford up and he doesn't make the bonehead mistakes that he likes to make in, in close games, I think Penn State would probably uh, hold on and, and cover with a with a with a with a sneaky over here. I think we see like a like a mid to high twenties out of both teams here. Even though I think the total is sitting like at forty six right now, mm-hmm. I kind of I kind of I kind of lean towards a sneaky over in this spot here. I think you know there's not going to be a lot of turnovers. I don't think it's going to be an offensive explosion, obviously, but I think uh, if if Auburn can score like twenty between twenty and twenty four points, I think the game gets over. I like it. I, I'm I'm not on the total side. I'm more on the on the side in this one. And this one, Auburn is twelve and eleven versus Big Ten opponents. Big Twin. I mean, uh, uh, Penn State is six and six versus SEC opponents. Last year, Penn State beat them. 28 to 20. And uh Brian Harson and uh what's his name? Um James Franklin. Frank James Franklin, both of them kind of on the hot seat, you know. They're not really trying to expose uh Harson's dirty laundry. Maybe they will decide to keep him, but it's likely chances that you don't see uh Harson at Auburn next year. He has some player, some coaches leave, some players leave. And then after that, they threw an allegation of him messing around on there. Like, he's all bottled up in a whole bunch of drama. They're not really trying to expose on the outside, but it's really going on on the inside. So his seat is up for grabs. And then James Franklin on the other end, they're looking at him as, you know, you got to get us over the hump and get back to where we, we like to be. And this year he's been doing that. I mean, they scheduled a solid game, you know, week one. You know, they had their little cupcake game the next game, and now they're coming after the big boys. We know how uh, Big Ten do it. They'll they'll do really good until they start playing in the Big Ten, and then they'll shoot each other in the foot. And I think yeah. uh, we're not really used to uh, – we love Penn State and the White House. We're not really used to them being a great road team, but they've already opened up on the road and show you that they can play on yeah. the road. They and did now, do that. 
here they are in the team who's, you know, uh, Harson's a great coach, but basically it's not much on the offense other than Bigsby, the running back. The running back, Bigsby, has been holding him in there. Last week he played his old Mountain West foe, um, San Jose State. He didn't even cover with them. And uh, this week he's playing a ten- Penn State team that could be hyped up. I mean, we always – this is one of those weeks you're looking for teams that's going to go 6-0, and 8-0. Or, you know, points like that because this is probably the lowest you'll get them. And I think the number is just way too low. I see Penn State uh, better by at least 7 to 10 points in this game. So I think this is a still of a deal from the bookies to take Penn State minus the three. As uh, long as it doesn't move uh, to past, past seven, I take it all day. I don't know what it is now, but it was three this morning. But I like Penn State minus the three. And I like what you're saying with the total as well. Yeah, I, I think – I mean, if I, if Auburn's going to generate any kind of offense, it's going to push it over. I, th- I think Penn State, like you said, I, I agree with you. I, I think Penn State is definitely the better squad, had the better – had the better um, mm-hmm. the better outings, you know, to start the season off. So they have a little more momentum going in. And, um, you know, like if your guy Harson isn't going to hang around, I, I could see him coaching back out maybe uh, in Colorado or Nebraska somewhere at the end of the season. If he doesn't have a successful year in the SEC this season, so you think he's on a you think he's on a train out west somewhere, huh? I, I couldn't tell you uh, where he's going to end up or where he's going, but I seen some. I forgot what I read exactly, but there's a couple teams that are interested in him as well. Uh, I don't think uh, the SEC was a place for him as right now. Uh, maybe he, he'll do a good fit in the Pac-12, or um, you know, maybe even in the Big Twelve somewhere. Or even back in another small uh, conference like the Sun Belt or something like that. But I mean, the guy's a good coach. He has some solid principles. I mean, he was able to pick up Auburn right where it was and win some games. I mean, he had the best season last year, but he won some games uh, yeah. without without the drama. I mean, if, if it was without the drama, if everything, if the, if he had the backing of the fans, the players, and everybody was totally bought in, then I would I would expect him to try to be winning this spot right here and I, I would think much better but the fact that he's hanging on to Bigsby in the running game and he's he's you know he's attached to the players that's there and then some of them are probably just in space and then nowadays with the transfer portal these kids they can buy out of the season real fast so I'm, I'm not I don't want to have my money nowhere near that I like Penn State in this spot I think they could actually win by a lot well, may, maybe they buck a trend if they you get the win, you know, and get the monkey off of Franklin's back for the road wins, you know. Or, or we as gamblers, we know about his poor record for covering spreads, but maybe maybe he'll get some backing going forward, make believers out of uh, some of the back, the gamblers that, hey, maybe Penn State's worthy of a, playing a touchdown on the road against a quality opponent. We'll see. Yeah. 